we proudly present DePaul University's 122nd Commencement Ceremonies. When I hear the words graduation day, I feel elated, uh, very thankful for everyone on my journey, my parents, my friends, my family. I'm feeling good because being a student is like having a little shelter around you. The expectations are a little bit different and once you graduate, it's like you come out of your cocoon, now you're a real adult, so. <laughs> it is a privilege uh, to be able to be wearing these robes and to have this degree and eventually have a license that will allow me to practice law. When I hear the words graduation day, I think of accomplishments and hard work, sacrifice and joy. Lots of feelings, but excited. I feel proud of myself, you know, that I was able to make it all the way to the finish line. I feel accomplished, I feel excited, and finally, it's today. The achievement of a dream, that's really what graduation day means to me. If I had to sum up DePaul in one word, it would be transformative. My mindset has completely changed. I've been exposed to perspectives that I wouldn't have otherwise had. <laughs> I don't know, it was amazing. You know, the faculty, the school. I could also describe it as electric because you, um, you feel the energy whenever you come here. Um, you have your good time, you have your bad time, and, uh, but to the end, you do find that everything you've been through is worth it. So that's why I chose the word rewarding. As a dream and now it's reality. DePaul makes dreams reality. Please welcome the Provost of DePaul University, Dr. Salma Ghanem. Members of the faculty, staff, administration, honored guests, and of course our graduates, it is my pleasure to welcome you to our 122nd commencement ceremony. Commencement is one of the most meaningful ceremonies of a student's academic career and a DePaul commencement is anything but ordinary. As a Catholic Vincentian University, we share a commitment to uphold the dignity of every single person. We call it Vincentian personalism. That is why we take the time to recognize every graduating student. As part of today's ceremony, we, we will feature you on your own digital slide. We want to give every student their moment because that's the DePaul way. It's also why we encourage all the students, family members and friends watching to stay until the end. We know how many challenges the class of 2021 faced this past year. When you joined DePaul, I'm sure this was not the final year or the commencement ceremony you envisioned. If you feel frustrated or sad or disappointed, that's okay. Trust me, I get it. This academic year has been like no other. From learning remotely to social unrest, to witnessing heartbreaking acts of violence and racism, you have overcome tremendous hurdles as a result, you are now stronger and wiser. While living through a global pandemic has certainly affected your time at DePaul, don't let it define your entire experience. You ran the marathon, and today you crossed the finish line. Let's celebrate your many accomplishments. I do hope you participated in and enjoyed the graduation celebration event we held on the Lincoln Park campus for 10 days in the end of May. It was such a joy to see our students walk across the stage in the graduation experience canopy while your loved ones cheered you on. Speaking of whom, if you're watching today's ceremony with a friend or family member, please pause for a moment turn to them and say thank you. If you're physically apart from the ones you love, take a moment and send them a message to express your gratitude. Don't ever forget all the people who helped you get to this moment in your academic career. 
including the faculty and staff who shared their talent and wisdom with you. Now it is your responsibility to carry their teachings forward. On behalf of the entire DePaul community, congratulations. We can't wait to see what you do next. As you begin your next adventure, don't forget to stay connected to DePaul. Share your milestones with us. We would love to hear about them, and we know there will be many. Now at DePaul, graduation is all about our students. Throughout today's ceremony, we will be hearing from DePaul students, starting with the invocation. Our opening prayer not only reflects our Catholic and Vincentian values, but also mirrors how DePaul compassionately upholds the dignity of all members of its diverse, multi-faith, and inclusive community. Today, we are led in prayer by four students who have chosen to reflect on loss and hope. They bring their prayers from the Orthodox, Christian, Jewish, Muslim, and Roman Catholic traditions. We invite all who wish to join these students in prayer, knowing that while their specific words may not be universal, we hope their sense of acknowledging and calling in the divine speaks to many. For those who do not wish to join in prayer, we are thankful for your quiet reflection. Amen. I pray in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, one God. Amen. Lord, even in happy times such as our graduation, we come to you surrounded by sadness. Many of us have witnessed or experienced loss, social unrest, and deaths of innocent people in never-ending wars, including my homelands, Ethiopia and Yemen. We've experienced the disappointments of missing out on classroom banters, internship opportunities, celebration of life, and building relationships. May we never forget that life is unequivocally precious and should not be determined otherwise by those filled with racial aggressions towards our BIPOC communities. Lord, for however long our grief may last, remind us that we are not alone. Provide us comfort and ease our pain that we may carry with us. I pray for your blessing to see hope and progress towards our healing. Fill our hearts with everlasting strength and Vincentian spirit so we may handle whatever awaits us. As we strive towards healing, we find ourselves in times of uncertainty. We've waded through the waters of grief, and now, where do we go from here? We've finished our time at DePaul, and now many of us ask, now what? The world still feels as if it's on pause. And yet, in these times of unknowing, we strive for something new, looking into each day with fresh eyes. We say, Uvtuvo mechadesh bechol yom tamid ma'asev reshit. And in the goodness of Adonai, Adonai renews each and every day in the creation of the world. Each day, Adonai begins the world anew. As we face a new world ahead of us, we remember that as children of God, every day is an opportunity for a new beginning, for new adventures, and for new stories to be created. We trust Adonai to lead us into these new chapters of our lives. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. Allahumma salli wa sallim wa barik ala Sayyidina Muhammad wa ala alih. Rabbana atina min ladunka rahmah wa hayyik lana min amrina rashada. Rabbana inna lima anzalta ilayna min khayrin fuqara. All praise and thanks are for Allah. Lord of the worlds, O oh Allah, send peace and blessings on Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam and on his family and followers. Our Lord, bless us with mercy from your own and provide us with guidance in our matters. Our Lord, we are in need 
of whatever good you send on us. Our Lord, forgive those who have returned to you. Grant healing and patience to us who still remain. Our Lord, what hope do we have besides you? If you don't give us a reason to have hope today, then no one else can. Indeed, you have power over all things. Heavenly Father, through the life, death, and resurrection of your Son, Jesus, you give us a new life and hope. Grant, we pray, O Lord, as our time at DePaul comes to a close, that we may be a people of faith. Send your Holy Spirit onto us as we enter the world, that we might be a light in the darkness. As members of the Vincentian family, help us to recognize you in one another, in the stranger, and in those on the margins of our world. Thank you for all the blessings you have given us. Open our hearts to your grace as we become beacons of your love in the years to come. We ask your presence among all gathered here as in jubilation we celebrate together. Amen. The most valuable thing I learned at Paul is definitely to work hard and to push yourself to do quality work all the time. Time management. I learned how to t manage my time. Before I was very, I did whatever I wanted, but I had to really be consistent and learn how to manage my time. Ask for help when you need it. Um, there's always someone out there willing to help you. You just have to ask. Keep going and like, and find the things that bring you joy as much as you can. Ooh, this kind of sounds weird, but empathy. So I feel like everyone thinks that they're empathetic, like just naturally, but to actually be empathetic and practice that, there's a big difference between sympathy and empathy and that is, it changes lives. <laughs> when my mom first came here with me, she was like, I really hope you go here. Like, <laughs> I really like it here. And that's like one of the things like Sarah and I first connected on when we were like freshmen is this like, the value in community of like caring for community. It's a very small cohort in each major and each year, which allows us to like really dig deep into those relationships. And I think that's what allowed me to like get through college <laughs> and stay. Because there were these people that I spent all my time with that really became a pretty tremendous support system. Please welcome Lucy Baker, a member of the class of 2021 who will be performing the national anthem. Say, can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight O'er the ramparts we watched Were so gallantly streaming And the rocket red The bombs bursting in Hope you know you made it. You made it to graduation day. You made it through the long nights, the midterms, the finals, that class or two that had you doubting your abilities, but you made it. I hope you know someone is proud of you. You should be proud of you. 
Graduating during times like these ain't no easy task. It's for the brave. I hope during your time at DePaul, you took St. Vincent's motto of what must be done to inspire you to take on leadership position. Lend a helping hand to your community or communities that might not look like yours on the surface, but are more alike to you than different. If you did not, I hope you know it's not too late. I hope you know what must be done is a constant question that must be asked beyond DePaul's walls. We've inherited a world that needs our help. Help to sustain itself, whether that means fighting the good fight against racism towards any marginalized group, fighting against ableism towards visible and invisible disabilities, fighting against xenophobia towards our brothers and sisters and non-binary family members across the globe, fighting against inequities rooted in sexism, transphobia and homophobia caused by fear when it should just be met with love and curiosity. I hope you know this is only the beginning of who you can be, who you want to be. As a matter of fact, this is the beginning of who you must be. You don't need to be an expert at change. You just got to want to be an active participant. I hope you know you got this. We got this. You are fully equipped with everything you need to level up. So step forward, give yourself a hand, and repeat after me to new beginnings. Please welcome the Dean of the School of Continuing and Professional Studies, Tatum Thomas. Hello, graduates of the School of Continuing and Professional Studies. It is my distinct honor to bear witness to your success. On this remarkable occasion, I welcome you, your loved ones, and closest supporters. Graduates, you have audacity, you have grit, and you have tenacity. During your time at DePaul University, you've thought critically about the challenges of today and how to make an immediate impact for the betterment of tomorrow. Your faculty and I know that you are prepared to rise to any challenge. Here is another one. Continue to curate learning experiences throughout life. This occasion does not mark the end. It marks the effective preparation for the learning journey. Through top-notch liberal arts, premier adult education design, or credit for prior learning, you have developed essential lifelong learning skills. To name a few, creative, critical, and analytical thinking, team effectiveness, strategic decision-making, astute judgment, heightened self-awareness, and sound ethical reasoning. I'm certain that you can add many more talents and skills to this list. During your time with us, you mastered attending to multiple responsibilities, work, family, education, personal well-being, and service to others. With commitment, you embraced the complex essence of adults in education and emerged with a renewed sense of purpose. In many cases, the journey was made in close partnership with others. This graduating class includes military spouses who finished their degrees together, twin brothers who finished their degrees together, parents with newborns, and many students from our cohort programs. Some of you are the first in your families to graduate college, while others are about to make career pivots. This graduating class includes those who are law school bound and future double demons immediately pursuing graduate studies here at DePaul. In some instances, it might have taken multiple terms and the support of our back on track program to earn a degree. No matter the case, recognize and celebrate this victory. I am beyond proud of you and excited to see the incredible impact you will maintain within your profession and communities. Remember, progress is coupled with duty. Maya Angelou suggested, as you grow, you will discover that you have two hands, one for helping yourself, and the other for helping others. 
maintain the essentiality of Vincentian personalism. As you move forward, continue to do what must be done. Congratulations, remarkable class of 2021. Now, it is my pleasure to introduce our student speaker, Sabrina Lowry. Today, Sabrina is earning her Bachelor of Arts degree with an individualized focused area. A first generation student, Sabrina Lowry is a high performance professional executive assistant at Healthcare Service Corporation where in addition to supporting Executive Divisional Vice President of Growth and National Account Strategy, she leads the Volunteerism and Engagement Committee. She is a leader, mentor, advocate, and proud member of the class of 2021. On a personal note, one of Sabrina's daughters will graduate from DePaul this autumn, just as another daughter will start her journey. Join me in welcoming Sabrina. To President Esteban, Dean Tatum Thomas, Provost Salma Ghanem, the Board of Trustees, faculty, friends, and fellow graduates. To my husband, parents, and my entire family. To the educators and advisors who have tirelessly supported me, who have supported us. Thank you to all. I am especially grateful for everyone's strength and resilience in weathering the storm that the recent crisis wrought upon the entire world. Somehow, I knew that our journey would not be complete without having our integrity, commitment, and dedication tested. We harness this moment with pride and a sense of relief because of the milestone accomplishment for each of us. 2020 clearly shifted our reflection of life. For me, it was a year where the loss of my grandmother became the force to continue and to celebrate her life's legacy of service, where she spent many years ministering to others. She, along with so many other family members, influenced me to pursue spiritual goals by keeping God at the forefront of my trajectory. Introspectively, I was determined to mirror her example and to also finish what I started. Retrospectively, my journey drives me to move forward with the same love and compassion for humankind. While maintaining values and principles, DePaul University has always been about expressing itself through leadership, community service, and advocacies that drive systemic change and create a sense of inclusion among diverse populations. Even during a time of much social unrest in Chicago last year, the DePaul family stood firm in solidarity. Continuity in education and safety remains front and center for staff and student body. Enthusiastically, I genuinely esteem similar values and promote them in others. One of the ways I do this is by mentoring the burgeoning spirits of youth and others throughout my community. As a result, their lives have changed as learning opened previously closed doors of opportunity for them. Imagine if everyone could take these principles and apply them to every relationship, every situation, every problem that they encounter. On average, over the past four years, 59% of graduates from DePaul's School of Continuing and Professional Studies have been women. I am personally honored to further impact that statistic and to be the first woman in my family to receive an undergraduate degree. Like so many of us, it has always been important to be the best role model for our children. DePaul encouraged me to evangelize for my daughters. I am pleased that they are also thriving students here at DePaul. It's the perfect affirmation that whether male or female, you can do it. That is what I believe some of life's crises are really about, a transformative educational opportunity for the entire world. It is about letting go of behaviors, perceptions, attitudes, and systems that no longer work and embracing those that do. The situation calls DePaul students, alumni, teachers, and staff to assist in these changes. And the only reason why we are all well equipped to do so is because we've been working on changing ourselves since the very beginning. 
We have personally reaped the benefits of transformative education to the point where we are ready to take it where it is needed on a community, national, and global scale. That said, the new normal will eventually be more about creating a global context where creativity, discovery, resilience, and health can flourish, even while people are still dealing with calamity. As graduates of DePaul, let us be committed to teaching others to be lifelong, independent learners, even as our professors have taught us. People can shift paradigms and turn them into something useful and beautiful for themselves and others. Once again, let us extend our thanks to the DePaul University community as we begin our journey forward. A breath of fresh air, deferring worries to share, a day that is beyond compare, a tour de force. Thank you and congratulations. I'm actually most proud about the journey. It's not the, you know, the end destination, I think it's just the journey. Sometimes you kind of forget what it took to get here. Holding a leadership role through my sorority as well. I got to serve as the Vice President of Risk Management at my sorority. I was um, invited to be part of the College Communications Showcase and I was able to show off one of the documentaries that I made. The accomplishment that I'm most proud of is being on a trial team my first year. Honestly, just getting into the ball. Just <laughs> that's been awesome and then runner up is gonna be graduating. The thing that I'm most proud of for accomplishing here is that I'm the first one in my family to graduate. I'm thankful so much for my family. I would say the person I'm thankful is my husband. Mostly my mom, because she has always been there for me and she let me find my own path without uh, influencing it in the right ways, but not forcing me to do anything I didn't want to do. My mom was my source of counsel, she was my source of comfort, and she was my source of pull it together, you need to do this. Thank you for my parents for, <laughs> definitely they wanted me to be like, like a nurse or a doctor. <laughs> but uh, I told them like I wanted to be in, in game development and they were really like supportive of me and I really appreciate that about them. I'm really thankful for my fellow RAs because they made my experience what it is. The people that I'm most thankful for is definitely my family and my older sister. Like she pushed me a lot. I want to especially give a shout out to my mom because she got her degree here at DePaul and she was a big reason why I wanted to go to DePaul. The Dean will now present the candidates for the conferral of degrees. President Esteban, on behalf of the faculty and staff of the School of Continuing and Professional Studies, I respectfully present the candidates and recommend that the announced degrees be conferred upon them. By the authority vested in me by the Board of Trustees and the State of Illinois, I confer upon you the degree for which you have been recommended with all the rights, privileges, and responsibilities appertaining thereunto. The following candidates have successfully completed the requirements and have been awarded their respective degrees. Emily Abarca. Kendall Abbey. Nelson Acevedo. Mustafa Aman Ahmed. Johanna Alegria. Jeannie C. Alexander. Edvin Aliagic. Renee Allison. Jimmy Amutavi. Brad Anderson. Rodolfo Enrique Argueta. Angela Renee Bailey. Michael L. Bang. Jose Bautista. Garrett Bean. Griffin Matthew Berg. Justin Betts. Andrea Bielkowski. Joseph Kevin Begain. Keith Blair. 
Jacqueline Blake, Nydia Blas, Shonda Alex Bliss, Rita Michelle Blunt, Aaron Devin Bonner, Janice W. Booth, Paige Buma, Patrick T. Bowery, Tavares Briggs, Michelle Marie Bricardo, Angela S. Brown, Mary A. Brown, Eric J. Buckner, Ashley Renee Birchfield, Bronwyn Burton, Sarah C. Champion, Martin Chates, Willie James Christian, Teresa Christie, Niles Clark, Karen C. Cole, Brian A. Collier, Kevin J. Corcoran, Joshua Edward Cotto, Christopher Joseph Quitino, Deanna S. Cummings, Lorena Elaine Curry, Joseph J. Zvick, Jean Darling, Jasmine Dash, Cindy Lou Dawson, Patrick Dahan, Prashosa M. Delgado, Candy Jane Dodds, Erica Doring, Deborah Marie Duffy. Danielle Siobhan Dunn. Catherine Mary Dunn. Eric Stephen Ehart. Adrian Esparza. Malcolm L. Fears. Holly J. Fishburn. Brandon Fishley, Patrick W. Forbes, Charles Frapsolet, Evangeline M. Fraze, Maureen Ann Gaffney, Jessica Gonzalez. Tara L. Granada, Lourdes Aguilar, Didis L. Grayson, Sabrina M. Greco, Kimberly Kaya Grafia, Anthony J. Grover. Gloria E. Guadarrama, Jared M. Gunn, Kishun Hagler, Daniel Hahn, Suzanne L. Hamilton, Mark Mazenhanna. 
Erica Hartman, Robert P. Howe, Jerry Dean Hendrickson, Rachel M. Hendry, Orlando Hernandez, Anthony Hester, Amanda Hoff, Denise Ann Horton, Shanae Lavanda Howell, Michaela Angelova Ristazova, Saliza Humphrey, Latoya D. Ingram, Norma I. Irarazri, Lee Jackson, Michael Jennings, Lisa Jones, Rosetta Jones, Jonathan S. Jost, Barbara Esther Jonas, Williams L. Carmen, Kenneth A. Konecki, Paulina Kouris, David Edward Labuda, Patricia Lacey, Eric Laster, Andrea Nicole LeBron, Valerie E. Lee, John Labunger, Ashley M. Lindsay, Tiffany Lomax, Sarah Lombardi, Angelica Lopez, Elvis Lopez, Sabrina Lowry, Eva Lungin, Hugo M. Machado, Christopher Mollick, Odishu Rani Mollick, Peter Markopiolis, Maria Maria Tini, Kenneth David Martin, Rodolfo Martinez, Doreen Lee Mason, Laura Lee Matthew, Trina D. McDaniel, Brian A. Meadowcroft, Maria de los Angeles Minor, Yasmin Sofia Miranda, Jose Merck, Cheryl Moore Hunt, Omar Moreno, Avril C. Morris, Fernando Munoz, Victor H. Munoz, Mark E. Myers, Benjamin R. Nadel, Francis Newman, Michael F. Nyland, Brett J. Nunman, Eileen Marie Nordquist, 
Ilya Novoy. Pedro Ortiz. Raymond Owens. Griffin G. Paglia. Michael L. Pilecki. Quedel Q. Paramore. Rosalind Parham. Nirali Parikh. Jairo G. Perdomo. Anthony Perlia. Jeffrey J. Phillips. Gary L. Piper. Cynthia D. Pleasant. Douglas J. Polischek. Michael Pollock. Craig Stephen Quarterman. Johanna J. Quinones. Colleen K. Rackley Kuda. Ryan A. Radke. Gracie Ramirez. Shilpa Ramprasad. Timothy William Reedy. Cameron Reef. Ryan P. Riley. LaMonica M. Ryder. Christopher Daniel Riley. Kaylin Ritke. Amaya Robert. Karela Robinson. Curtis Robinson. Kimberly R. Rogers. Monica Nicole Rodriguez. Kenneth Joseph Salvatore. George F. Samaniego. Michael Anthony Sanchez. Brandy L. Sanderson. Ramez Sayeg. Eric Schwartz. Ronald Seals. John Siddiqui. Don Siggins. Mayan Simon. Barbara J. Sims. Barry Searches. Maggie Smedberg. Derek Smith. Karen W. Smith. Julie Sprengel. Kai Stallings. Justine D. Stanton. Jennifer Stegeman. Destiny Sarah Anna Stone. Angela Strickland. Catherine Sullivan. Sylvia Shurek. Mary Tapa. Hurst Delicia Taquanda. Catherine D. Taylor. Janet Tello. Amy Tesh. T. 
Sierra D. Thompson Bruce Robert Tyndall Philip B. Urquhart Mark A. Valadez Kenya Van Osten Proman Jenny Estefania Vera Allison S. Vituri Hugh E. Wagner Curtis Lewis Wallace Lennis W. Watson Megan Watt Cassie West Tamara Weidman Hannah Wiley Sharice E. Williams Lisa Ann Williams Caleb M. Wilson Karen Wilson Joshua Wolfel Tyler J. Wolf Adam Rob M. Zeller Marion Zarilla I feel accomplished. I feel very proud. When I was a freshman, I was nervous, but excited for all opportunities. Nepal has connected me to some amazing mentors, professional opportunities, and some of my closest friends. This pandemic has helped me have a clearer direction of what I want to do with my career. The Vincentian mission has really taught me that when I see injustice, I have to say something and I have to do something. After I graduate, I hope to pursue a career that makes me happy and just live a life that I'm super proud of. And it's just really up to me to determine what it is that I really want to do because I know I'm built to succeed. Please welcome the president of DePaul University, Dr. Gabriel Esteban. Members of the Vincentian community and the clergy, trustees, life trustees, faculty, administration, staff, and honored guests. I'm Gabriel Esteban, president of DePaul University. Thank you for joining us today to celebrate the DePaul University class of 2021. Your presence means everything to us. I also would like to recognize any members of the military and veterans who are watching today's ceremony. Thank you for your service. I know this year has not been easy, especially for our graduating students. It's important to acknowledge that living through a global pandemic is a defining experience. You're different because of it. You're more flexible and patient. You're stronger. You likely have a new perspective on life. I'm inspired by your tenacity, drive, and kindness. The class of 2021 has demonstrated throughout this time. I'm also extremely grateful to all the faculty and staff who have supported our students throughout this past year. You went above and beyond to make sure our students succeeded 
and completed their education at DePaul. Today is a victory for you as well. From the bottom of my heart, thank you. At DePaul, we strive to be an inclusive and diverse community of learners who work for change. We work together to transform society. The world has a lot of uncertainties right now, but hope is on the horizon. We can feel the real potential for individual, institutional, and societal change. That's why now, more than ever, the world needs DePaul graduates. There are more than 6,000 students in the class of 2021, and the world needs every single one of you. We need entrepreneurs, economists, and hospitality leaders, journalists, filmmakers, computer scientists, and game designers, teachers, counselors, writers, artists, diplomats, and historians, nurses, psychologists, scientists, and mathematicians, musicians, and actors. The world needs DePaul graduates because you know what it takes to succeed. You know how to roll up your sleeves and do whatever it takes to get the job done. You understand the importance of giving back. You have the courage to ask, what must be done? At DePaul, our Catholic Vincentian mission to serve the public good is at the heart of everything we do. We have taught you to fight for social justice, help those most in need, listen, and be kind. Please keep our Vincentian values close to your heart. Be mindful of the responsibility that comes with a DePaul diploma, the diploma that bears the name of St. Vincent de Paul. DePaul University, class of 2021, you are ready to serve a changing world. Transformed by your DePaul education, grounded in mission, make us proud. The last step in your journey at DePaul is to be inducted into the alumni community. It is my distinct honor to introduce our special alumni guest, four-time Emmy Award winner, Lourdes Duarte. Lourdes earned her Bachelor of Arts degree in communication from DePaul University. She co-anchors the WGN Evening News and is one of the station's top investigative reporters. DePaul has always been proud to call Lourdes one of our own. We're very grateful she could join us today to celebrate the class of 2021. Please join me in welcoming Lourdes Duarte. Well, not long ago, I was in the same place you find yourself in right now. Only I didn't face the obstacles you've all overcome, a pandemic, historic unrest, and an entire world undergoing economic and social challenges that have changed the way we think, the way we operate, and the way we move forward. Let me ease some of your concerns. The fact that you have managed all of this and are still pushing through and ready for the wonderful journey that comes after today means that you are ready. And I couldn't be prouder to stand here with you today. I'm a DePaul graduate and hold that as a badge of honor. Today, you share that badge with me and so many others who will always, always be rooting for you. In my eyes, DePaul graduates are Chicago's very own. So inscribed upon this scroll are the names of the members of DePaul University's 122nd graduating class, the class of 2021. We accept these graduates into the DePaul University Alumni Association. Members of the 122nd graduating class, we, the DePaul community of over 195,000 alumni living in all 50 states and around the world, 
welcome you to the next step in your lifelong connection with DePaul as students yesterday, graduates today, and alumni forever. The continued vitality of DePaul University depends upon each of us as alumni and our pledge of commitment and service to the university. We now invite you, the class of 2021, to move your tassel from the right to the left, a symbolic gesture of your transformation from a student of DePaul University to a lifelong learner and citizen of the world. So you do it with me right here. Let's find the tassel. Graduates, go ahead and turn your tassel. And here we go. There you have it. Congratulations, class of 2021. Graduates of the class of 2021, your journey has been profound and you've emerged with a sound perspective on learning for life. Well, you did it. You've graduated. Congratulations. And we could not be more proud of you. Uh, I know many of you have been on a very long and winding path uh, for a long time and most particularly over this past year. All I can say is you did it. We thank you for the dignity, resilience and hope that you have forever imprinted on our Vincentian heart. It is amazing what you have accomplished and the means through which you have accomplished it. We are so proud of all that you have done and everything that you will do moving forward. Thank you for adding to a legacy of accomplishment, excellence, and a renewed sense of purpose. Go do great things. We need you. Now more than ever, your skills and your knowledge, your compassion, and your kindness. We are so proud of your achievement and wish you the very, very best as you start this whole new chapter of your life and career. Huge accolades to you, congratulations. Best wishes to you. You will always have a family at DePaul University. Uh, make sure you stay connected with us. From the bottom of my heart, from all of us, congratulations to DePaul University Class of 2021. And remember, once a blue demon, always a blue demon. We are so very proud of you. Congratulations. One of the most important things I've learned from DePaul is that you are born to make a difference. This year, when we hear the word graduation, I think for many it's bittersweet. We're happy to be moving forward and then thinking about all of our experiences we shared at DePaul. DePaul has changed my life for the better. I've been on the Dean's List ever since I got here, and I cannot express the amount of gratitude I have for this university. The one person I'm most grateful for during my time at DePaul has been my family. So I guess it's more than one person. Thank you, DePaul. Thank you, DePaul. Thank you, DePaul Athletics. Thank you to my family. Go Blue Demons. Go Blue Demons. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I'd like to thank both my kids for all their support while I studied. I want to thank everyone that I've had the opportunity to work with, all the professors and staff. Thank you, guys.